I think you can all agree that exercise is good for you, good for your body and good for your brain. But knowing and doing are two different things as you know. So I'm here to give you ideas to make it easy for you to start exercising. And with the creativity, you really don't need exercise equipment, um, hardly anything, or you can probably use something that you have in your house and uh, you don't need a large space to work out. And my name is Ataro Iwamoto. I'm a Feldenkrais practitioner and I am a movement expert. And on my YouTube channel, I share videos of exercises and the movement uh, tips and strategies to help improve your functions and your life. And there, I'm gonna show you uh, one exercise that challenges your flexibility of your hips, your spine, um, well, let me think, um, and challenges your strength. And um, it's not an easy one, um, but I'm going to show you anyways. I, I like it. Um, so let's see what you think, okay? So I'm going to get into the squat positions, okay? So the feet are the hip width apart and reaching my hands down to the floor. Okay, I'm going to, um, I'm getting into the full squat position first. If that's too hard, you can modify it, you can raise the, uh, you can use the, um, what is it, the uh, yoga blocks, okay? So that if you can't put your hands down on the floor, um, you, can, you can use the uh, yoga blocks so that it's not too low, okay? But uh, if it is reasonable for you, you can have your hands on the floor and then first I'm uh, getting into, um, I'm just going to work on lifting my chest, okay? I'm just showing my hand, um, showing the movement with my hand. Lifting my chest, okay? And trying to lengthen my spine while the hand's on the ground in a squat position, doing this, okay? And just to prepare and mobilize my spine, especially your, uh, my upper and the mid back. Up and down, I'll do about 10 times, okay? And once I've done it 10 times and I'm trying to lengthen my spine and keep my chest forward, up, upward, and then take, um, I'm going to start with the left side and turning and reaching my left hand up and backwards and turning my head. And also, um, when I'm doing this side, my right hand stays on the ground, so I'm turning my chest. So you should feel quite a bit of stretch in your mid-back, yeah, right? your thoracic spine. Ten times, switch hands. Okay, um, I didn't count, um, maybe I didn't do 10 times, but anyways, uh, that's um, one of the exercises that I sometimes do. I don't do it every day, but I do it when I feel like doing it and because it feels good uh, not for everyone. You may like it, you may not like it, but uh, the benefits uh, that I can think of with this one is first, get into the squats and definitely it challenges the mobility of the hip joints. And then for you to be able to lengthen the spine, it definitely challenges the mobility of your spine. And to be able to stay in that position also uh, definitely challenges your strength. Okay. And also your ankle mobility, flexibility. And then adding this motion, it's definitely going to challenge the mobility of your mid back and upper back. So, um, which I think will benefit many people um, because we don't move this section, mid back, uh, the thoracic spine enough in general, okay? Some people do use quite a bit um, if you're practicing yoga or some other uh, movement systems. Anyways, um, but 
give it a try and uh, well, if you like, you don't have to. Um, and let me know what you think and if you like it, great. Um, just uh, like the video, hit the like button. And if you are uh, new to this channel, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. You can leave the comments uh, down below. All right. Thank you very much and see you in next video. Bye-bye.